Hi, I'm Insurance Commissioner Trinidad Navarro. In addition to serving the people of Delaware as Commissioner, I also serve in the Delaware COVID-19 Anti-Fraud Coalition and as Chair of the National Anti-Fraud Task Force. As we face the coronavirus pandemic, the public health threat is, rightfully, our top priority. But the pandemic also represents the largest opportunity for widespread fraud that we've seen. Um, from fake tests to phony cures, we need to stay informed and stay vigilant. Here are some updates in our fight against coronavirus uh, fraud that we've seen across the country. In anticipation that scams would span uh, the U.S., our anti-fraud task force reached out to fraud directors in every state and territory to encourage reporting of issues within the group. We work with the Coalition Against Insurance Fraud, the National Insurance Crime Bureau, the National Healthcare Anti-Fraud Association, and the Health Fraud Prevention Partnership to bring together a public conference to uh, facilitate further collaboration and, and information sharing in this fight. Key areas of focus have included educational outreach uh, to seniors and small businesses who are more likely to be targeted by fraud. We've also learned of a potential increase in false personal injury claims from employees who have been furloughed, as well as health and auto-oriented scams. Now, I strongly urge you to only take coronavirus healthcare advice from reputable providers, like our state health department or your primary care doctor. You see fake at-home tests are being marketed and sold, and we see more fake cures on the market too. These are scams to get your personal information and your hard-earned money. Uh, residents have reported getting phone calls about COVID-19 insurance policies which don't exist. And we are working with the FBI and the U.S. Department of Justice to address this telemarketing scam. While healthcare issues are at the forefront of the pandemic, we have seen fraud emerge in the auto insurance industry as well. Residents have been scammed through excessive and unnecessary body uh, shop charges for things like COVID-19 cleaning of their vehicles. Tow companies have been uh, also fraudulently picking up uh, perfectly fine cars saying that the towing was required due to COVID-19 uh, contamination. Recently, in other states, cars parked at healthcare facilities have been reported uh, have been broken into, uh, and the criminals have uh, attempted to obtain the owner's address either from the registration or mail left in the car, and then they burglarized the healthcare worker's home. We made sure to notify uh, our local um, community of these uh, crimes that are occurring and warning our healthcare workers. So we are continuing to work with agencies across our country to identify sources of fraud and common scams, and actually to, more importantly, to educate the people of Delaware. So if you think you may have been a victim of a coronavirus scam, please email us at fraud at delaware.gov.